As someone who loves fishing and the outdoors, there is a place I call home. A home where I spend all my money. Bass Pro Shops slash Cabela's. In this video, we are going to be living at Bass Pro Shops for 24 hours. Eating Bass Pro Shops food, shopping for some gear, and also we are going to be stealth camping in our truck stealth camper. There's also some ponds on the property uh, we might try to fish. But yeah, basically right now it is a little afternoon. Welcome to the video. Basically it starts here. If you're not familiar with the channel, basically this right here is my truck. We have converted it to be our own travel Airbnb. Hotels, yeah, they're freaking expensive. And uh, yeah, truck camping, it's just a vibe. It's been so fun. This is gonna be my third time ever camping in the truck. If you guys wanna see the other two videos, they are down in the description below. Particularly the last one. If you're into outdoorsy stuff and fishing stuff, I ate only what I caught the whole 24 hours that we stealth camped in this truck here in Florida. That was not the easiest video. That was a lot of fun though. Yeah, basically, let me do, just give you a quick little look at what we're doing. By the way, look at the pile. I hope you all can see that. It is just everywhere. I sneezed so many times this morning, but this is what we are working with. I could give you a better look later. The lighting right now is kind of not super easy, but we have, oh, hello. Yeah, we've got a drawer system, which is also our bed. We have a better bed that I'll show you here in a little bit. Hopefully it's better. Our fans up there, we got some pillows. We've got a cooler and way back there, if you could see that, it's actually pretty cool. This freaking chair sits up and I'm going to sit in it later. It's actually super ugh, comfortable. Hello. And uh, yeah, we got the kayak up here too. I went kayaking yesterday. The wind was blowing like this and the pollen just everywhere. It shoved up my nostrils. It is 72 right now. It's going to get down to 57 tonight. That actually should be perfect. I have a question though. So look at this, man. We got a palm tree there, a palm tree there. The heck? Is he doing all right? Looks like the barber gave him too short of a fade or something. Woo! But all right, man, let's get in here to Bass Pro Shops. I have some things I need to pick up and I want to do some exploring because first of all, this is one of my favorite stores of all time, as I said earlier. Secondly, I've never been to this actual Bass Pro Shops here, and every Bass Pro around like US is kind of a little bit different in its own way, especially the fish tank, which would be cool to check out. Most likely, I'm gonna be taking a couple trips in here today. This is our new home, man. Look at it. It's nice that the palm trees, the flag flying. Wait for me. Whoa. All right. Oh, holy! We got boats. Ooh, the sparkles on the boats. <laughs> I know the bass guys love that. Oh, we got baby boats. Dude, this would be so much fun to rip one of these around. I can't help it. I try not to, but every time I come into like a Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, I always compare it to my Cabela's at home that you guys have seen me film so many videos at. Ooh. Big old freaking sheep's head, dude. Okay, so as a person who just loves fishing and that's like all I ever want to do, this is why I love Bass Pro Shops and stores like this. Aisles on aisles on aisles. Big old fishing center over there. This is just like, this, and, and what else could you want, man? The locker lounger chair. <laughs> $69. I'm not gonna bore y'all, but one of my favorite things to do is just look around at fishing and tackle stuff. So I'm gonna do that here for a little bit. It's like, look, look at this. We don't have this stuff in Delaware. The Wahoo Whacker. We, we don't have like Wahoo really. It's just such cool, like, especially saltwater stuff. I just like looking at it, man. It's very hard to come in here and not spend a lot of money. Between the fresh water and the salt water section, it's, it's freaking like literally anything you can ever want. Look at that tiny reel. Did y'all wanna see a video on that? Look at this thing too. You guys know how much I despise the spin cast. Look how tiny that is, dude. $19.99. I also just like love looking at fishing kits and like rod and reel combo stuff. For $35, you can get a lunker gear from Bass Pro Shop. So it's got all this crap in it but it comes with a little spin cast so we gotta work with that and a bobber down there too but something else that caught my eye look at this i've never seen this before this is 37. the stormtrooper fish it's gonna get fish for something like this that's white right or am i colorblind i don't know it looks kind of cool though let me know if you guys see any fishing kits you want to see a video on i'm just gonna pan through them real quick inshore all this inshore stuff pretty freaking cool square bill crappy stuff the dinger kits poop kit top water 
All this stuff is just so like intriguing, man. I feel like we can make some really cool videos of this. Let me know if you see anything. Also, real quick, one combo I feel like is very underrated from Luz. Look how sick this thing is here, man. The American Hero. Look at that digital camo and stuff. And this has like a really good backstory behind all these rods and it goes towards good causes. And they got a spinning version too, which is $75. This thing is clean, man. Oh, I just knocked something over. This is a Mach Pro. This is freaking sick, dude. Oh, I want this so bad right now. That is freaking beautiful. Solid chair. Oh, that's actually a sick backpack. All right, so I've looked around. I think I've, I've tamed the whole fishing slash tackle shopping. Like, I'm good right now. One thing we need to go do that you have to do if you go into any Bass Pro or Cabela's, let's go look at the tank. So from my understanding, all the fish in that tank are like fish that you can catch around this area of Florida, which is pretty freaking cool. It's a lot different from Delaware. And uh, I've been to a couple of Bass Pros like throughout the nation, especially Colorado. They had a lot of trout at that one. This is so cool to me, especially this big red fish. I want to get on one of those, man. We're going to have to do that before we leave Florida for sure. We're sneaking towards the camping section right now. This is another area where I could just spend so much money because we're trying to build out like our little stealth camper setup and there's just a lot of holes that need to be plugged. We have like temporary holes, but there's a lot of stuff I feel like we could buy. Look, look, man, I don't know what a mosquito wipe is, but I'm sure we could probably put that to use. Surprisingly, skeeters really haven't been an issue. I mean, it is winter time. Okay, this is something. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, I really want to get into it. He's so happy. I want to find some pirate treasure. Okay, see, like something like this, we have to upgrade our bed in there eventually, but I kind of tried to tonight. Maybe it'll be good enough. Let me know, what do you guys think? We try like a, uh, what is this? Is it blow? Something like this is possibly gonna be the biggest upgrade. I could put this, let's see. It's kinda heavy-ish actually. $160 too, I don't know. I could put this right on the tailgate. There's also like Blackstone grills and stuff. Pots, pots. Need something a little bit better maybe sometimes than like just the burner. We, I feel like we can cook better. Or we could have a crawfish extravaganza. Holy crap. That thing is huge. Oh my gosh. It's like a grill and a little oven in there. See that? That's that's some fancy stuff. Deep fryer. Oh, the Cabela's grill. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Is that actually wood? It is wood. I feel like you get splinters when you try to cut some stuff. That's pretty cool though. So one thing that we really actually need to get here today, for sure, some more propane. We are like literally almost out from doing all the cooking we've done. I'm hungry. We've been in here for a while now, and they have this. They probably even have more than this, because this is all like camper food. With our propane and the thing we have on the top, you boil up some water, and you can pour it into these, and it makes what you get. You want Mexican rice? You got it. You want the chili with the mac and the beef? Now, are these things the healthiest? I don't know. Let's see which one sounds good for lunch right now. Now, they used to have actually a uh, restaurant at this Bass Pro Shops, but apparently Bass Pro and Cabela's and stuff, they're taking away their like inside food stuff. That would have been cool to get food there. Ooh, they got a breakfast skillet. That'd be good in the morning. Shredded potatoes, eggs, sausage. Which one's better, this blue one or this one? Beef stew, mountain chili. Oh no. I've talked about these before on videos. Mint chocolate chip though. I'm not a big mint guy. I don't like to just eat toothpaste. I got vanilla though. One thing about me that you guys might not know, I am a spaghetti connoisseur. I freaking, like spaghetti might be my favorite food, mixed with like, like chicken parm and stuff. But uh, this right here, classic spaghetti with meat sauce. That sounds kind of good. Uh, $11, $11 spaghetti. Is that worth? I actually don't have a good solid pot though, so we're gonna pick this thing up. It's like 30-ish dollars. I hate to spend $30 on a little pot. But it advertises you could put all your other stuff in the pot and it could be like more than just a pot. They got me with that. Nice. Am I supposed to like wash this before you use it? Okay, how much? Uh... One and three quarter cups. Hopefully this is enough. Get 
You literally just boil the water and you just put it in this. Then you stir it around. It should have some nice spaghetti. It, it really is a vibe just being in Florida, especially in the winter. It's just so freaking nice out here, man. It's so warm. And also, I don't know if y'all can see that behind me. There's a trucker that just pulled up. He looks like he's about to start sleeping. So I'm pretty sure you're allowed to sleep here, I think. Most uh, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's and like Walmarts and stuff let people sleep there, but some don't these days. So you kind of have to check on the internet and just like call them and stuff. If y'all don't know, there's an app called Campendium that I use um, when me and Kelsey are doing camper stuff or also when I'm trying to find places to sleep. It'll show you where other people have camped and have marked down camping places. I saw some people slept here, so it should be good. Only like complaint was that the highway is kind of loud, but we slept on the world's longest fishing pier, which was like on pretty much the highway. It was super loud that night. We didn't even have a freaking window. That was, <laughs> that was crazy. It, it, it just, yeah, let's check on our water. I feel like it's almost already. It's gotta be getting hot. I guess let's prepare this. I don't wanna mess it up. Probably should take that out right there. There's the spaghetti. You smell it? it smells like Italy. <laughs> so you put the water in there and there's actually a Ziploc. I might sound dumb, but I've just never used one of these before. Oh, it smells good, man. It really does smell like spaghetti. I wonder why. It's happening. It's happening. We're boiling. She's boiling. She's boiled. This is where it takes some precision. I'm sure some brave souls have burned their hands on this stuff before. All right, um, what am I supposed to do? Hurry up. Uh, stir carefully, close zipper. Stir. You need to stir. All right, to hit it with the little Chef Curry, the James Harden flick of the wrist. So wait five minutes, stir again, and reseal. By the way, when we were inside of uh, Bass Pro Shops, I picked up, this is for free. I guess it's like a Florida magazine for fishing and stuff. I figured later on I could look through it and try to pick out which page I'm gonna be on next, man, when I catch the state record. Here she blows, Mountain House Mom's Spaghetti. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie, man. Tell me that does not actually look kind of fire. If you're a spaghetti kind of person, look, they're even cut up and everything too. I got, I, I just, I gotta. Can't wait, can't wait. I don't know what I expected, but that's freaking good, dude. That's spaghetti. Only thing that could make that a little bit better some Parmesan cheese, and I'm a big crushed red pepper guy. Oh, dude, I gotta try all these out now. There's like so many different brands that do it too. Let well, I me mean, know what the best brand is and the best like camping meal that you could do stuff like this in. It's so simple, man. Literally just boil the water. Chef first state. I mean, he's an advanced chef, but. Mmm. I would like eat that a lot. If you sent me out to the woods and you sent me out with like a hundred bags of these, and it, it, no problem, man. And I'm not trying to gas up this brand either. I, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just affiliated with spaghetti. When I was walking out too, ow, it's still hot. I passed right by the famous Bass Pro slash Cabela's fudge. I was like, dude. And then I passed by, they had this big thing of Dippin' Dots and then a big thing of beef jerky, and I was like, dude. I think what we're gonna do later when we get food here is uh, go in there and then post some stuff on Instagram and let you guys vote on like a poll or something. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to hit that follow and uh, you guys could be involved in stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what we get for dinner. I kinda wanna get another one of these, but I don't know. Astronaut ice cream, fudge, beef jerky, dipping Dots. I, this is not my normal diet, but it's not every day you camp at Bass Pro Shops, you know? Mm. So I'm gonna camp here for a little bit. Um, just sit on my, my uh, porch, <laughs> my stoop. I'm the stoop kid. And just pan around real quick. There's the motherland. Bass bro, there's really nobody around us. This is like a really quaint little area. The trucker moved. I don't think he liked me. I don't know if y'all can see that. He moved into the parking lot like over there a little bit. He's probably like, what the frick is this spaghetti kid doing? Yeah. I'm just gonna relax here for a second. I might open up a window and just sit in my seat back there. Just, just relax a little bit, man. It's a beautiful day. And we're gonna need some energy for what we're about to do.
So this is uh, kind of the situation with the chair. If I slouch down a little bit, I can sit in this beautifully. By the way, shout out to my sister for this bedding. I don't know if she knows I'm using it, but I will wash it. I don't even know if I showed you guys this, but um, yeah, here's, it's actually pretty handy. This company sent me this a while ago. And basically what this is, is like a little power generator. You can put it on right there. It's 100% charged, but I can plug my laptop into this and other stuff as well. Probably want to get another one of those at some point. I have some like power bank chargers as well, but yeah, that helps a lot with the laptop and charging that and stuff so I can crank out some sick edits. Okay, okay, okay. So look at this right here, man. Bass Pro right back there behind me. We're not leaving the vicinity. We have some tables right here. But look at this sign, catch and release. There is a pond on this property. There's actually a couple different ponds. So what we're about to do, we're gonna go into Bass Pro Shops. And uh, if you guys haven't been following my channel for a while, well, this lighting. I've always had a lot of fun with fishing challenges, in particular, budget fishing challenges. I like to, you know, showcase that, you know, even though fishing is super expensive, you can go out there, go to Bass Pro, spend not a lot of money, and have a lot of fun with it. So we're gonna try to do that here today, man. We're gonna get in here, see what we can buy for the low low, and see what we can uh, catch, hopefully, out of that little pond right there. Now, this is the restaurant uh, that I guess is not a thing anymore. Probably was freaking good, though. Some expensive stuff in this freaking case right here and oh my gosh that is not budget bro 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 clear kayak question mark Dude, look how tall <laughs> i don't know if you could tell that the freaking size huge look at a tiny little reel on it too i guess that's for like um some panfish or something i've never used anything like that before let's try to find something under 120. Okay, look, man, so I actually didn't bring a fishing rod with me, which is really weird because I bring fishing rods everywhere, but I cleaned out my truck specifically for this, like, camping video. So, had to go buy something. Now, look, this is a dock demon, right? If you guys never seen it before, this is a tiny, tiny freaking rod. Like, my arm is probably longer than this thing, but it is a ton of fun, and I've actually used this once before, but it was a different, like, model. I guess it was a different generation of dock demon. So, this one looks a little bit different. Might not be able to cast very far, might not be able to set the hook very well, but uh, 15 16 dollars can't go wrong, man. Let's see what the heck we could do with this little pond over here, okay? So, I didn't bring any rods, but I did bring all my fishing gear, so this is kind of what we got going on right now, man. Super tiny but mighty rod. I mean, just look at the look at the bend on this thing. This, uh, yeah, <laughs> small but mighty. I've seen people catch some pretty big fish on this, man, and we've caught some decent fish if you guys didn't see my first video years ago using it it's probably cringy but i'll leave that in the description below basically all i got on here is a little ned rig i feel like maybe just maybe we could see some bedding bass i don't know how good this pond is going to be but first of all how cool is it that bass pro shops you could literally walk outside with your brand new gear and test it right here at bass pro. like that's freaking that's one of the coolest things ever now again we are in florida so we got to be cautious of gators. Oh boy. That should be good. So basically, I'm using something very small that we can just kind of whip out there. Just gonna kind of be bop bopping it. Hopefully it's not too weedy. But I just want something with an exposed hook and something, you know, we could probably hook set pretty easily. If I was using some kind of Texas rig, I don't think I have the strength with this little tiny rod. You need something longer to, you know, really get the ooh, good hook set on it. So if you're not familiar, basically there's a weight on the bottom and the turd, which is basically a turd. It says TRD, but basically it's a turd. It just kind of bounces up and down. It floats and looks like something. Oh, <gasps> What? Dude, fish is looking at me right here. Dude, a fish was just watching me talk about the turd. What the heck? Some bait just moved right there. Dude, if I catch a fish at Bass Pro Shops, this is going to be one of the coolest days ever. Dude, I see stuff getting chased over here. Oh, I hooked my pants. Professional fisherman. Oh, yeah. Bait is getting pushed around, dude. I don't know if we got the best representation of bait, but hopefully... The, come on, the turd's twitching. Dude, do you see that? Bait getting... 
That's not just jumping out for no reason. There's a fish on those baits. Come on, man. Right time, right place. Please. Casting this thing is so funny though. <laughs> it's almost like better underhand method. It's not even like a cast when you launch it overhand. It's like a, like it's literally a launch. It goes, Zoo! I'm getting bit. I got a fish. 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 I have a bass at Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> oh, that, you guys don't understand. That is so cool to me, dude. Okay, not a big one, but you know, it, it's, you know, holy crap, Ned Rig did it once again, man. Look at that, bass at Bass Pro Shops back there. Circled around this pond a little bit, it took a while. Super freaking cool, man, thank you so much, buddy. Maybe we can get an upgrade on you. <laughs> I just, if you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button, that really would mean a lot to me. And let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, man. This is slowly becoming my favorite videos to film. Just like spending 24 hours somewhere and especially the truck camping stuff. If you guys, again, haven't seen the other truck camping videos, I definitely would highly suggest and recommend giving those a peep. Let's see if we can get something else to bite here. Let's see, do we find their home? Is that a bite? Only managed ugh, to get one fish. But that one fish is freaking worth it. Come look at this, man. The sun is setting. Look how freaking cool that looks. Oh man, there's just something about Florida sunsets. Camper brother, I wonder if they're staying the night. They have their uh, XLR Boost. It'll be interesting to see where they park. That makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know if they're actually staying the night if they're just going to Bass Pro, but uh. It's a brother. So I just watched the sunset, current time check. I don't know if y'all can see that, 6.45 p.m. I think, I was gonna say Cabela's. Bass Pro closes at like nine-ish. I got lost on TikTok there for a little bit. It's like a freaking black hole, dude. Sometimes you just get sucked into that crap. Whew. I think I'm gonna go relocate and park across the ways a little bit. There is actually, remember that um camper I talked about earlier? He's actually parked, or she, I don't know who, they parked right over here. I'm just gonna skirt across real quick and find somewhere that looks comfy. That's the goal. All right, so I'm creating an Instagram post right now. It says pick one, astronaut ice cream, beef jerky, or fudge. Let's add that to the story. All right, story. so we waited a little bit here. Let's see activity. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting, <laughs> what? 100 people voted for astronaut ice cream. Only 30 people voted for fudge. Sorry, fudge. 93 beef jerky. Ooh, I just saw this. 39.99. That'd probably fit perfect on the tailgate. All right, so we are back. Dude, it's 3.99, that's expensive. This thing better be good. Vanilla ice cream sandwich. It's basically like astronaut sandwich food. We're gonna put that right there. This is the last one too. Must be a hot commodity. Nobody seems to like the mint ones. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, chicken and chicken dumplings, beef stroganoff noodles, breakfast skillet. That would probably be pretty good for breakfast. Um, lasagna, it's pretty a bunch of like spaghetti, beef stew, chili, mac and beef. It's got some rice and chicken too. I think this guy caught my eye, dude. It sounds pretty good. Chicken teriyaki, astronaut ice cream. Bro, what the heck? They have a legit dinner bell. I should buy that. I gotta ring that real quick. Ooh. That look, oh my gosh. Bro, tell me how all three times the same guy checked me out. I know he, he's just, he's like, what is going on, man? I, I'm buying like the weirder stuff too. I guess not super weird. I mean, spaghetti and then some teriyaki, ice cream sandwich, and a tiny little rod. Good times, man, over here at Bass Pro Shops. It's a beautiful, like it's starting to get a little bit chilly. I'm gonna get bundled up in these sheets after I eat this nice little warm milk meal. Dude. 
So same as the last one, one and two third cups of water. Same exact directions. Time check it is 750. There she is right there. Um smells good. Alright, we're in. The lights are on right now. It's not super stealthy, but this is what we're working with. Got the bed. We have all the space. I'm sitting in the chair right now. What's up, dude? It's actually pretty good lighting. Um, Yeah, I'm going to turn these lights off in a little bit here just to be a little bit more stealthy. It is almost closing time here. I just wanted to show you guys. This is now ready. Let's take a look at what it looks like. It feels nice and warm. I got a window cracked over there. Oh, it smells good. I don't know, I might have added too much water, but can y'all see that? Kinda ish, it just, it doesn't look very good. Ooh. Oh my God. It's hot. Mm. I like the spaghetti more, but this is gonna hit the spot. All right, I'm gonna turn these lights off here for a second and eat and watch some YouTube and then tell scary stories. Here's a closer look. Oh, we're fogging up a little bit. Again, it doesn't look great. It is not Gordon Ramsay prepared, but tastes not bad. I would probably rate the teriyaki stuff. I, I'd probably say it's like a 5.5. Not the greatest, just it, it did the job, but now this is the moment of truth. I've been wanting to try one of these forever, but I've never seen the vanilla ones. It's always the freaking mint chocolate chip, which I'm just, I'm just not the biggest mint guy. Look, it comes in like a, uh, <laughs> like a little ice cream sandwich. Right. How messy is this gonna be? Looks pretty messy. You don't see that? It's like a little piece of it. It looks like a little Oreo. Hold on. Wait a second. Mine's all crushed up though. All right, that's a better look, kinda. Bro, that's stupid fire. It's like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like imagine cotton candy, but it was like an Oreo, but it's not cotton candy. Mm. You guys know what's up, man. Kick the shoes off. This is the life, man. So, Kelsey actually added a bunch of pillows. I don't know if this is gonna break my back or make it feel better. Kinda wanna start editing this video. I probably will here in a second. But there she is. Good old outdoor world. It is 10.20. This place closed over an hour ago. And, oh, okay, that makes me feel better. There's some campers all the way over there. Oh, there's, I see at least three campers. Oh, we're good. There's just like nobody else in the parking lot. I know you can't really see, but besides over there, there's some campers. I thought I was gonna be the only one here. Ah, that's a little bit nicer, man. Having some camper friends. Nobody's over here by me though. fogging up a little bit here it was super cold last night hello yeah we're fogging up it was it was really cold and now it's getting toasty in here because the sun's coming out but there's somebody parked like right next to me I don't know like if they're in the car or not it is it is 8 12 I don't think Bass Pro opens till 9 so most likely these people are in this car right there Bro, this is fogging up something serious. That was the most I've ever slept in doing one of these. I woke up at four, I woke up at five a bunch, and I woke up at six, and then just, just 
suddenly it's like eight ish we're coming in here at like five something i guess the workers maybe it's actually pretty filled out right now what the heck was i sleeping on y'all see that someone fart on my pillow Did a little cleaning up in here with the trash. All right, I need to go try to take a thumbnail. Very important. Finally leaving our spot. Oh. Hey man, you doing any better? Still like that haircut. There's a guy sleeping over there in the van. There is a big class A RV right there. Bro, this is interesting. It's a weekday. But there is a giant line to get into Bass Pro Shops. Right now it is 9 a.m. basically. It's about to open. Oh my gosh, I gotta sneeze. There's so much pollen on the truck. Ooh, I'm not really even super hungry to be honest. I think I'm just gonna chill here for a few hours and edit this video. Right around like noonish will be the completion time for this challenge. This was a good one, man. I got the best sleep I've gotten so far on one of these truck cams. If you're new here, I said this before, but this is only the third time we've ever done this. And to be able to sleep in to like eight, like I've been getting up at like five, both times I think. But also that was to go fishing. So it was nice to just relax a little bit. We ate good last video. After we were done with that, I was like, yo, we gotta eat good next video. We ate pretty good. I've been having fun, man. I appreciate you guys for coming along with me. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here get the laptop out try to crank out some edits and uh yeah we, we have like an hour over an hour drive back to uh the house i'm staying at too so yeah all right that's pretty much going to be it here for this video as i said i just kind of chilled and edited and then i drove home so nothing like super exciting happened but i pretty much just finished this whole edit up right now and i really like this video man i'd love to do more like this let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below all i gotta say man so let's keep this rolling. I need some freaking sleep right now. Thank you guys for watching. You See you next